Dr. Cooper, you shared an interesting statistic with me that colon cancer is the second leading cause of death in Americans. That seems somewhat surprising with all the awareness in recent years that's been drawn to colon cancer. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, it's expected that about 150,000 people will develop colon cancer and about 50,000 will die from it. So it's second only to lung cancer in terms of the number of deaths. And it's sort of ironic because the vast majority of cases can be prevented through the regular use of screening. When you mention screening, who should be screened, what age, what are the guidelines? Okay, so in general, if somebody does not have other risk factors like a family history of colon cancer, screening should start at age 50. And colonoscopy is currently the preferred modality. Uh, it's recommended to start at age 50, and if you have a normal colonoscopy, the good news is you don't need it again for about another 10 years. Uh, if uh, an individual doesn't want a colonoscopy or can't do a colonoscopy for whatever reason, there are other options, uh, including testing for blood on the stool. And you've been very involved in research in that regard, so congratulations on that. Uh, thank you. Now, what are ways that we can prevent, or are there ways of preventing colon cancer? By adhering to a healthy lifestyle, so by that we mean not eating a lot of animal fat, uh, eating a diet that's high in fiber, exercising regularly, maintaining your weight, uh, not smoking, avoiding alcohol in excess. These are all lifestyle factors that may prevent polyps and cancer from developing and certainly there's no downside to doing these things for, for your general health. Absolutely, and are there warning signs? Regardless of how old somebody is, even if they're under the age of 50, if you start experiencing bleeding from, from the rectum, uh, a change in your bowel pattern, uh, unexplained abdominal pain, these are all sort of red flags and you should definitely seek uh, medical attention to get evaluated. Yeah, and be in constant uh, contact with your primary care physician who may refer you to a specialist. Right, and uh, certainly any individuals who haven't been screened in the last 10 years who are over the age of 50 uh, should uh, get access to screening. Great. Thanks so much, Dr. Cooper. Thank you.